Hey guys, I am stranded in my dorm room today currently because um, there's a fucking blizzard outside and it's been blizzarding since like something like 6 a.m. and now it is 2.15 p.m. I had to walk to all my classes in this terrible blizzard. I'm gonna show you. I, I am going to have a point to this video, but first I have to rant about this. But um, yeah, so like it's terrible outside. I don't know if you can tell at all, but like the wind is horrible and the snow was just like actually stabbing my face a million times a day. So, since I'm stranded here, I'm pretty bored. Um, and I felt like making a video. So I decided I'm going to make a video sharing with you some of the poems that I've written. Because, you know, poetry is one of the arts and things that I like to do. And I know I, I might make a video eventually of like maybe some of my art and like some of my, I would like to be singing like I mentioned in my introduction video. So like today, poetry. So first, oh shit, sorry, I didn't know my sound was on. Um, first, I have a poem that I wrote like in, while I was in a different relationship. Like it's a happy relationship poem, I guess. So here I go. Iridescent bubbles in a milky snow, glass enclosed universes centered around black holes, as mysterious as the depths of the sea, but they are no longer mysteries to me. I know every sparkle. So like it's up and up to interpretation, of course, of what you want the poem to be about. But like I personally wrote that about the eyes of the um, person I was in a relationship with because that's what I was, like, deciding to focus on. Um, I also have one that is a little bit more sad and, like, post-relationship-esque. Um, the ghastly traces of your fingertips and your cherry lips still quicken my skin into goosebumps. It's been so long, but... You're as much a part of me as my kneecap or my eyebrows. What I can't tell, though, is whether I am haunted by the memories because I long for them or because I am terrified. So there's that one. Um, next I have another post, like, breakup kind of thing. Um, ask me why I'm still laying here, oh, Fuck, why am I still laying here, still thinking about the curves of your lips, and fuck, it's happening again. Why is it happening again? Chaos, all the stimulants, all the pieces of you are stimulating me, igniting the electricity in my bones, flowing through my bones, through my soul, and I can't fuck, I can't stop. Ask me why I keep falling in love when the fall keeps giving me bruises. Okay, um, and then there's one about unrequited love, which happens very often, especially if you're gay and in love with the straight girl, stares off into the distance. But anyway, um, here we go. Whoever decided that there are seven wonders of the world was highly mistaken, because you, my love, my sad, unrequited love, I don't even know if it's pronounced unrequited or unrequited, I'm an English major. <laughs> Um, are the eighth. Despite all of the things I have seen in all of the places I've been, you're the best thing my eyes have ever laid themselves upon. And even though it's all in my head, even though we will both end up with other people in our beds, and even though you will inevitably forget about me, I never will. Okay, um, hmm. let's see what else I want to talk about. Well, this one's kind of interesting. So I was, like, on the way to, um, a marching band, like, show, because I'm in, like, the marching band at my college, and I, like, passed by this, like, s this small area that was, like, a pond, and there was, like, a crane on top of a log in the middle of the pond, and I don't know, it just, like, inspired me. It was one of those moments where you're just like, oh, let's write something. So I have a poem inspired by that. Today I saw a curious sight, a lone crane's white feathered form with black sticks protruding, clinging onto the bark of the dead tree below. 
the wearied log that had rolled from the bank to attach to the invisible moss in the river cutting through the countryside. Machine gun bullets of water crisscrossed every inch of air around the crane, chaos falling from the sky, flying to the east, sloshing back up, cutting around the bark. How long will the balance be retained? How long will the white remain? That is also up to interpretation. I, yeah. Um, and then I think I'll do like one, two more, two more. I like both of these because one of them is like gay pride one. So here's my gay pride one. Um, going by the Bible, which you have chosen as the source to justify your hate, you shall love your neighbor and you shall treat your neighbor the way you would like to be treated. So if you beat them and curse them and mock them and damn them, is it really they who are less human or is it you? So um, I just wanted to say also that that poem is obviously like not going against all Christians. I am Christian and in the LGBT community, but um, yeah, I just, there were these people that come on our campus sometimes and they're kind of like really intense and they like talk about everyone going to hell and stuff. And that, that was the reason I wrote that poem. So, um, and then finally, this other love poem that I've just always kind of liked. So, your beauty astounds me more than the sheer immensity of the implications of gravity astounded, astounded Newton, more than the infinite bounds of the heavens and all of its explosions of constellations astounded Plato. My attraction to you outweighs Earth's attraction, and you are as unique and brilliant and beautiful as any star. So yeah, those are, that's a little glimpse into my poetry from like recently-ish, like within the last year, 2015 mostly. Um, so I, yeah, I just kind of made that video. And also I wanted to let you guys know that like I always make these videos without editing them at all because I really like raw videos in which you can just like talk and just keep talking. And so all of my videos are going to be like that. So I hope you all have a great rest of the day. Stay warm if you're living in the same area as me and dealing with this blizzard. And bye!